Hello my magical Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading from the 9th until the 15th of August. Hoping you're all good. Guys, thanks for being here. I really truly appreciate your energy. Thanks for all the likes, shares and subscribes. Please, if you are new to the channel, we would love to have you join us. Um, please hit the subscription and then the little bell and you'll get a notification every time I do a reading. Okay, right guys, as always, non-gender specific, female, male, does not matter. It's the energy around it. So please take it as it resonates with you. Um, also, I, um, you know the rules, no Cinderella's, please do not make it fit. If you, you feel like this isn't your reading, either check other... Gemini readings or check your other placements, please. Okay, so check your sun, moon, mining, rising and Venus because it may give you a complete picture of what's going on. And then finally, um, for those of you who are wanting to connect with me for readings and things like that, personal readings, um, the links in the, the description box are actually working now because I have some amazing people in my life that managed to help me get that sorted out. So that's all the admin. Right, let's get into your reading for today. Um, just a quick one. The word that was given to me when I connected in with the, 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 uh, the, the Gemini energy was destination. Okay, so it feels like for some of you, it's, it's kind of like a twofer for me. For some of you, it feels like you are about to reach your destination. But I think for some of you, you're so focused on the destination that maybe the journey and the importance um, and the validity of the journey um, are going amiss. So let's just see where that takes us. But they wanted, Spirit wanted you to just be, be mindful of the word destination for how it resonates with you. Okay, so I have pre-shuffled all the cards. I'm just giving a quick one to get into the flow of the energy. And let's see what comes out. What does my Gemini need to know? Okay. Gosh, you got four cards. Okay. Giraffe spirit. Okay. See the big picture. All right. So this really does relate to this kind of energy of, for those of you who are not um, seeing the big picture, you're so focused on the destination that you're missing the points along the way. All right. Um, very, very often when we get caught up um, in the details, I'm getting like the nitty gritty kind of vibe of situations we lose the big picture. So take a step back, become a distant observer and see what the big picture has to offer you. You could be missing lessons and valuable learnings from not seeing that. Okay, oh God, how beautiful is this card? Parrot spirit, watch your words. Very important at the moment with Lion's Gate and the new moon, you are in a very, very creative space. Make sure that everything you are speaking about in your space is positive and only bringing to you what you want and what you feel you deserve. Now, when I say that, understanding that we're working with a space of worthiness, not one of unworthiness and of lack. Okay, so please watch your words this week. Make sure that you, um, that you are very clear. On, on how you're communicating. All right. Okay. <laughs> we got dear spirit. Bring a gentle touch. So for some of you, this may actually just mean that um, you may feel a bit with this new moon and the the, the lion um, the lion's gates and things like that. You might be feeling a bit like hypersensitive. Um, I know that for me, this period, I'm struggling to sleep. So if you're a bit tired and you're feeling a bit hypersensitive, also be gentle with your words. So maybe for some of you, um, you may get a bit irritated. Something might trigger you and your instinct is going to be to respond. Maybe you just need to take a step back and go, okay, hold on. Seeing the bigger picture here, right? And understanding that maybe you are being triggered. Well, you're definitely being triggered to show you something that needs to heal. Okay. So instead of getting feisty with the person that triggers you, how beautiful is this card? White Raven magic. Trust in the magic. Okay. This does go back to this. Sometimes when we're plodding along and we feel like we're going nowhere slowly and we, that our destination is miles away, we just feel overwhelmed and hopeless and like it's never going to arrive. They're saying, just trust in the magic of this. All right. You're on the right path. You're where you're meant to be. And spirit has got your back. So just trust in the magic of limitless possibilities, especially now, especially with this lion's gate. This is a massive, massive portal for manifestation, guys. Huge, huge, huge. You can literally bring in the impossible into your space. Okay. Right. So let's get into your tarot reading and see what spirit wants to talk about. Okay, guides, guides, elementals, what do our Gemini need to know from the 9th to the 15th? Okay, let's 
go. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. So these two together. Okay. Sorry, just trying to find a big pulse of one step. <clears throat> okay. Right, so let's get started here. <clears throat> right, so the heart of the matter is the Queen of Cups. Okay, this is the heart of the matter for your reading. Um, the Queen of Cups is very much um, someone who has done the work. They've done the self-healing. Um, you know, she is very compassionate, very caring. Um, as these cards say, she's very gentle. Okay, she works from a place of empathy and of um, compassion. All right. Um, so this is the current energy around you this week. This is like what you kind of... Your, okay, so this is your soul energy. Your soul is looking to be in this position. Okay, I know that sounds a little bit like cray cray, but then this is Mara, so it's really is likely to be cray cray. Um, this is the kind of energy you're wanting to embody this week. All right, so Queen of any queen knows their worth, but this particular one is very much about. Okay, all right, Kelso is just saying to me, um, um, uh, there's a, I'm going to have to read the two cards together, the energy underneath is justice, okay, so the message that's coming through here, so sorry, just bear with me, because I'm trying to just, um, Kelso said there's a, there's a, this is a twofer kind of thing, all right, so what are the energy he's giving me at the moment is, for some of you, you're going to feel like you need to dispense justice, or you are going to need to balance out justice in certain places of your life. Okay, now it could be um, friendship, it could be family matters, it could be business, it could be love, it could be any of these different things, all right? But what they are saying here is that do it kindly, okay? Um, it feels like this is something where you, this is not going to be for everybody, but where you have either been seriously wronged or seriously irritated by the repetition of something, okay? This is something that has... like almost really gotten to your core in a way, okay, and I feel like for some of you, you felt like this is a real hindrance, you felt like this is something that's really set you back, whether it be emotionally or physically, you know, physically can be financially, whatever it is, um, there's only one set of pentacles on the table, so I, I'm not really feeling the whole financial vibe, but it could be like that it's a, a knock-on effect for you, okay, so this is very much an energy this week of wanting to do what is right, wanting to, feeling like maybe you need to set things right, okay, um, but in doing that, you need to please, they're reiterating this, okay, they're saying here very clearly to me, oh dear lord, we're having technical issues here, when you are, when you are speaking your truth, do it gently, and remember the bigger picture, that whatever this is triggered in you, is actually going to heal you and move you forward further on your, your journey, okay, so just be careful how you execute what you feel you need to say, or what you feel you need to do this week, um, it's a big one for you, right, and then what is chasing you, what's wanting to come into your space, change your perspective on things, again, see the big picture, okay, seriously here, this is a very big change of perspective for you, and it's going to require some patience, all right, now, um, I don't get the feeling that there are things that you are necessarily wanting to just cut out of your space, but I feel like there are things that you are wanting to write and to bring into balance, okay, so please just take the energy how it resonates, it could be um, something you are wanting to write, or you feel like somebody else needs to write with you, um, but that you can take some kind of action towards, all right, this is asking you for just taking a moment, catching your breath, and changing your perspective, see it from their point of view, you know, I'm always big on, on saying that people can only do um, what they are capable of, people are always doing their best, and even when we look at people and you think, oh my god, is that seriously your best, understand that not everybody has the same emotional tool set as you do, 
So I feel very much like you need to just be careful on not judging something too harshly or not being too impulsive here, but changing your, your energy around that, okay? Understanding, please just understand here, that with the Lionsgate energy and the new moon energy, massive shifts are going to occur for everybody across the board, okay? This is beyond our control. So what we're having to do with this is to manage that energy. We're having to say, if somebody comes back who's wronged you in the past and you, you feel like there needs to be justice and you need to make rights, Try and take a step back, see where you have grown from it, and try and um, activate the change from a place of gratitude, um, of acceptance, of um, all of these positive vibes. Like I always call them learnings, teaching, and growings. Rather focus on that, but make sure that you take that moment to breathe and to change your perspective before rushing ahead. Okay. Now, what you are chasing is the Knight of Cups. This is something that's going to bring you so much soul happy, okay? This is going to make your heart smile kind of stuff. Um, and for me, it's... For some people, okay, this is, if, it, if this is what you're looking for. If you're wanting to right the wrongs of um, a relationship that's come and gone, all right? Or if somebody has wronged you in your relationship... Um, there is some kind of proposal to move forward, I feel, like some kind of apology may be coming in. Um, this is what, but this is what you are wanting, though. You're wanting that person to recognize what they have done, okay? Um, and you're wanting that offer of peace or that offer of, of um, apology. But what I'm hearing loudly and clearly is that irrespective, irrespective of what the outcome is, irrespective of whether you get this offer of apology or um, of truce or whatever it is, in whichever area of your life this comes in, please understand that you need to keep moving forward anyway. There is, um, you know, focus on, although you're wanting to go through the journey, you also need to keep in mind your destination. Don't be hung up on something that's going to keep you stuck. So, yes, you're wanting to work towards your destination. You need to enjoy the journey and go through the journey, but be careful not to get stuck and hung up on wanting something that may not arrive or may not arrive in the time that you're wanting it to arrive in. Okay, so that's important. Your spirit guide messages um, from, from source and from higher self. Let it go. Just let it go. Okay? Um, obsessing over something that has caused pain is not going to make it go away. Um, I'm hearing, unless you have a planning, unless the, the, the mental activity is um, planning on an action of healing and how to move forward, sitting in this space is not going to help you at all. So your team are like, just let it go. Move forward. Keep going all right at the end of the day this this is another energy so if you're waiting for an apology and you're fretting about what's happened or what could be happening you're going to be stuck in an energy and that's not going to propel you forward so for those of you who are aimed at your destination it's going to hold you back okay right now source is coming in and saying we've got your back okay this is your ancestral message so your ancestors are saying we've got your message tune in take a moment take a breath listen to what's being said Listen to the truth of what's going on in you. Your, your GPS, I call it your internal GPS, your intuition, will never, ever, ever, ever steer you wrong. So take moments. Remember we said, take that breath, change your perspective. Okay, while you're taking those moments, listen to the messages coming in. All right, they're going to be messages on how to direct you. All these arrows are aimed at one specific thing. They're all coming in at one specific, well, arrows, the ones, are coming in at a specific target. Okay, so what they're saying is, just keep that in mind. Keep going. One foot in front of the other. L listen to the messages. They are going to be direct messages to you. So some of you, this may actually be like social media. It could be a million different things. But wait for the messages. Okay. Keep the, Wait for them to keep coming and see where that takes you. Because I feel like that's going to be big for you moving forward. Okay. The action. All right. So now the Seven of Swords is usually someone who is deceitful and a little bit of a thief and this kind of thing. Now, I'm hearing for some of you, this is um, somebody that um, you've maybe had in your past. And this is the justice and the apology that you're wanting to come in. All right. Um, what I'm hearing is if that is the case, just let it go. 
it's time to walk away from this. But what I'm feeling like um, for some of you is also this is about lying to yourself, guys. Um, remember we spoke here, we said watch your words. The stories you tell yourself about um, how people have wronged you can keep you in a space of victimhood. So just be very, very careful about that. Rather try and find the positive in the situation, like what it's brought to the table for you, than focusing on the negative, because that's not going to be a good space for you to be in. Um, it really is um, about you now taking this energy. I mean, this Lionsgate energy is strong, powerful energy. It's asking all of us to step into our power and moving forward, leaving this behind, but making sure that it's not you that's telling the stories um, that are keeping you stuck. Okay, right. So how do we do this? How do we let go of this? How do we monitor our stories and our words? We find ourselves going into a space of balance. Now, I just want to say that your outcome is the, the Six of Pentacles, okay? Now, the Six of Pentacles is reciprocity. It's about um, getting what is balanced in life, all right? So if it's a relationship, it's a balanced relationship. For those of you who are wanting love, there is a love coming in. There is an offer of love coming in. There'll be a lot of communication. So if you've been feeling lonely for a while, okay, if you've been feeling a bit unsettled and lonely for a while, um, just be patient. This card is asking for patience. It's gonna bring someone, it's gonna bring into your life someone who is just and who loves you for you, who sees you for who you are and sees your magnificent magnificence and loves you for who you are. What you then have to do, if this is where you're going with the love reading, you have to let go of your past. Whatever's hurt you in the past, whatever you're carrying from the past, all right, let go of. Find balance and healing within yourself. Find um, moderation. Okay, this is another card of patience. You've got two cards of patience coming up. So just be patient, all right? The messages will start coming in. You will start getting direction about where you're going and where you need to be, all right? But this here is um, very much about balance coming into space. The quicker you find balance in your internal world, the quicker you'll find you'll get the balance in your external world. Okay. Um, they're saying to me very clearly that this is a very, very important um, element for you guys this week is that you seriously, seriously, seriously try and find ways to balance yourself out, to find some calm, to center yourself and to make sure that you are really and truly seeing from a distant perspective. So they're saying the distant observer, the neutral observer. Okay. Very important that you are in that space this week because i feel like if you're not and it's in that space of not seeing the wood for the trees there may be messages and things that come in or offers that come in that may not um, be noticed or recognized for what they are to you okay so my magical gemini's i hope that this resonates with some of you i hope that this has helped um please if you did enjoy please like share subscribe and i look forward to catching you uh for next week's reading on the flip side but in the meantime, sending you big, big loves.